Hi everybody, this is Bobby with Bobby Stamps and I have a super cute project for you guys today. This will help keep you organized for the upcoming Christmas and New Year's holiday season. So this is a file organizer. Now my file folder I bought, the one I used, is a little bit longer. Uh, let me turn it this way so you guys can see it. Let me kind of zoom out just a little bit. So this one is a little bit longer and I'm going to show you the difference. I found this one that I was going to do this project about a year ago and I never got around to it. So you can see the difference in the two file folders. So you could purchase whichever size you want. Let me grab my ruler really quick. And I can tell you, I know this one is 11 and this one, the shorter one, looks like it's about nine and a half inches. So you could purchase whichever size that you want. This one, like I said, is 11. Let me just double check just to make sure. It looks like it's actually 11 and three quarters. So just make sure that you're buying the size that you want. This one honestly is just a little bit longer than what I would want, but you could easily trim it down if you do buy the longer ones or if that's all you have and you don't want to have to purchase another one. I bought a ton of these before because I was going to make these and sell them at um, when I was doing craft fairs, but right now I just don't have time to do that. So as you can see, this one is a little bit longer. Like I said, I would definitely cut this one down. Um, I just kind of started making it and didn't realize I wasn't really paying attention. So I was just cutting my papers and I already made it and I didn't want to cut it down. So that's honestly what I would do. So I'll just go over it really quick. So when you open it, you know, it's, it's just kind of, it's kind of like a book. And I do have the um, free PDFs. I keep folding it the wrong way. I do have the free downloadable PDFs on my blog. So I'm not going to really make this. I'm just going to tell you how I made it. Okay, let's go over the contents on the inside first. The free downloadable PDFs that are on my blog. So we have a calendar for November. I've tried really hard to get this done because I know November is almost over with with Thanksgiving. So that's why I'm rushing to try to get it done today for you guys. So we have November, December, and January. And you can print those out in... Um, cut them to whatever size you want to fit your folder and then you just put them there make sure that you do get the folders that has the pocket at the bottom that's very important we have a gift a gift list you can print as many as these as you need I just printed there are three on a sheet so I just printed one sheet I'm going to show you how to make this super cute envelope so you can keep all your receipts that will help and then Christmas cards you can put the name the address if you sent it if you received one from them um, I think that's a super cute organization idea. And then your menu. So like for Thanksgiving, you could put the date, write Thanksgiving, special notes, your um, menu, what you plan to do. I was going to do a shopping list, um, but you could honestly print this one out again, just cross off the gift list, and then just make your own shopping list on that one too. I just did not have time. Like I said, we're closing in on Thanksgiving next week, and I wanted to get this printed, so if anybody wanted to make this, they could make their very own. So I cut my DSP, and I put background paper. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me kind of fold this up a little bit so maybe you can see it. So it's got a little bit of just regular cardstock, and then I put DSP. This one's got the uh, flirty flamingo and, and then the dsp and then that one has the basic black and then again coastal cabana right there with the dsp and then i just followed suit for my bottom pockets down there i flipped it over and i put tear and tape you can either put it in the center of the folder or you can put it on your ribbon like that to help um when you're going to um to help keep it closed Okay, and then I just stamped Merry Christmas, used my stitched rectangle dies, and I cut out a piece of Coastal Cabana, and then a piece of Whisper White, and layered that there, popped it up with some dimensionals. I did the same for the background, and then I will tell you, my the and it really is going to depend on how you guys cut score and all that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to give you my measurements. You might, if you buy the smaller folder, you're going to have different measurements. Just remember that. So my cover, so this piece of DSP is four and three quarter, um, or I'm sorry, four and a half by 11 and a half. But then I ended up changing that. Well, no, this is the cover. So it is 11 and a half. Now, when I made my inside layers, I cut them at four and a half. I just trimmed my DSP just a smidge. I went ahead and, and just 
just took an, an ever so slightly little bit off off the side of that and then I only cut these to seven so let me see if you guys can you guys see that down there it's not going all the way in the pocket it's just stopping right right short of where the pocket is on the inside there's no use in wasting your DSP just make sure you cut it where you know the pockets gonna cover it okay and then for the pockets I cut them the background piece is again four and a half by four and three quarters and then I just took a smidge off um, the sides of the DSP to make it um, just just a little bit I just wanted a little bit of the cardstock peeking out so that is how you make that if I forget to include anything on how I did it please let me know I think I, I covered everything there on that um, I'll show you here after we get done how I made the receipt envelope too. So all you're going to do is take your envelope or your folder and let me grab my, my simply scoreboard. So you're just going to take your folder. You're going to open it up. You've already got the score mark here. And another tip that I would tell you guys too, if your folder is not already a solid color like mine is here, it's going to be white on the inside. So I would try to get one if you don't have one. Try to get one that's a solid color because then you won't have to worry so much about the white showing through. That is why I used my cardstock layer to help cover up that white. And you can see just a little bit of it's peeking through, but I'm fine with that. But I'm just saying if, you know, I don't want you guys to have to buy anything if you don't need to. If you already have this folder, you can make it just like I made mine and you're going to be fine. If not, I would get a solid colored folder. So you're just going to put your folder in there and you're going to score it at four and three quarters. You're going to flip it upside down and score it again at four and three quarters. Okay. And then all you have to do after you score that is you're going to fold this one this way, this one back. It's just an accordion. That's all you have to do, you guys. So isn't that super cute? I just love this project. I am going to use this for my Christmas cards. I'm getting ready to get mine in the mail, and I'm also getting ready to um, plan my Thanksgiving meal. So I'm going to use my little um, list and my shopping list and all that kind of stuff. Now, let's move on to the envelope so you can keep all those receipts that you do your holiday shopping with, and I'll show you how we're going to make that next. Okay guys, let's get started on how we're going to make the envelope. And I am going to show you how I did that. So we're going to start out with a piece of cardstock. And this piece is um, Coastal Cabana. And it measures 9 by 8 and 3 quarters. But the first thing I want to do is we're going to do some stamping. I didn't do it on the original one until after I had already scored and everything so some of the stamping wasn't the greatest. I'm just putting this down so I can kind of protect my my work surface there, my uh, stamping mat. So I'm just going to use the the star. Oh, hold on a second. I didn't grab the stamp set. I haven't made videos. This is the second video I've made in several months so I'm kind of rusty but I'm getting back in the swing of it. So I'm using the snowman season. So I'm just going to use the um, the snowflakes and the reason I am using this one is I just and you could leave the envelope um totally bare if you wanted to but I just wanted to dress mine up just a little bit I just thought it would be super cute okay so I'm not gonna make you watch me I'm just showing you and I'm gonna do both sides because when I open the envelope I don't want this to be bare with this having the pretty little design on it so I'm gonna pause the video while I finish and I'll be right back okay guys I have my paper all stamped on both sides so let's just move this out of the way really quick I'm gonna bring in my simply scoreboard and I'm gonna find my nine inch side right here so if you guys can see that and I'm just gonna look at my notes to make sure I tell you right so we're going to score at a half inch on each side. So we're just going to take right here and take our stylist and just uh, that kind of moved. I hope that went right. And then flip it and again. And then we're going to put it on the eight and three quarter side and you're going to score at 
one and a quarter and then you're going to score it again at five and a half. Okay. Move this out of the way. Grab my bone folder. And then you're just going to burnish the score lines all the way around. Like so. Okay, and then let me grab my snips. And then you're just gonna take your your snips and we're just going to take the the side that's got the the wider flap right here and if you guys can see that right there so this side doesn't have anything there so we're just going to cut up at an angle right there and then you're just going to cut away that section right there and then we're going to do the same thing we're just going to angle that like that and then cut that section away and then we're going to do the same thing up here we're just going to fold this flap up and then you're just going to eyeball it from this corner is what I'm doing is just lining that up and then you're just going to cut that away. Let me straighten that up. I got just a little bit right there. I want to, there we go, straighten that off. Okay. And then we're going to fold that up and do the same thing here. And you're just going to eyeball it like so. And then again, cut that away. Okay. Let me move this out of the way. And then we're going to fold these two pieces in. Fold them back in. I'm going to grab some tear and tape. And just put some tear and tape right on that tab. Like so. And you can just kind of eyeball it. Sometimes that gets me in trouble. Okay, I probably should have brought my stylist over, but I didn't. Let's see if we can use our snips without cutting ourselves. Oops, hold on a minute. I got way too much tape on that. I didn't even notice that. Let me trim that off. Thank goodness I seen that. Okay. Throw it that way. And then we're just going to peel that back. I don't have nails anymore, so. Okay. And then I'm just going to fold that in and fold both sides up. Fold that back down. There is your envelope. And I just made a little um, Avery labels. I just made a little label that says receipts and I am good to go. So there you guys go. That is your file organizer. I have another idea for another video I'm going to be posting in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. Um, cute holiday I ideas is what I'm going for right now. So please make sure that you guys hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And you can visit my blog. It's bobbystamps.com where you can get the free downloadable PDF for all these little inserts right here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. God bless.